Yeah, he was limited today with his hip. So we had a, a number of guys, uh, uh, Josh Jacobs, J.J. Nelson, Conley. Um, help me out. Fontes. Fontes, perfect. We had a number of players limited today, but hopefully they start coming around later in the week. Well, I'm amazed at the continuity that, that they have on defense, honestly. It's, it's kind of like a 1980 or 1975 team. They've been together, you know, playing together at every level in the same system, which is uncommon. So they don't make mistakes. They don't screw around on defense. They're really good, man, really good. Uh, and it's, it's amazing that they've had that kind of continuity. I don't know how they've done that. But um, they're a challenge. Offensively, they've got a great back. Uh, we've got, you know, got to handle him. He's making big runs, man. A very creative Gary Kubiak style of running. And um, two young, talented receivers. And I know Cousins. Cousins is, is, is tough to deal with. When he gets hot, he's one of the best. So we got a lot of work to do. Brother, give you any tips on Kirk? No. I don't talk to my brother anymore. We, we got our hands full, both of us. They're pretty persistent about the way they're going about their running game, too. Is this pretty much a different challenge than you just faced? Yeah, I mean, it's a different kind of challenge. We all know that deep down, Cousins is, he's paid to throw the ball, and he's capable of ripping it. And I've seen him throw for over 4,000 yards, and I've seen Thielen crush people. And Stephon Diggs doesn't mess around either, so we got to deal with it all. We just can't commit everybody to stop the run and give Cousins a lot of good one-on-one -on -one looks on the outside. So we got to mix it up. We got to win on first down. That's the name of the game. John, apologize. Apologies for this. I've been asked recently. First of seven weeks away from Oakland. Just as a coach, how do you sort of psychologically wrap your brain around that? Because it's pretty uncomfortable. I'm still trying to understand how that happened. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to deal with it. We just got to showcase our mental toughness and, and deal with it. You know, it's uncommon, maybe unprecedented. Maybe unrealistic that this should ever happen in pro football. You know, I'm not excited about it, but uh, we'll adapt and do it the best we can. I know all the guys are tough. What did uh, Williams and Jacobs show you on last week as far as they were grit in the back of the game? Yeah, it was big. Uh, obviously, uh, does that irritate you every day, that noise? <laughs> what is that? The guys clean off the cleats. Um, that's tough. It's tough on all of us. It's tough to call plays when you're calling a play for a guy and he's not there. And then you're calling a play for another guy and he's not there. So the emotional part of it, you know, you got to get over and you got to adjust, kind of like playing on the road or playing in London or playing in Winnipeg. You just got to adjust. But I'm, I'm really proud of those guys for coming back and giving us all they had and finishing the game and practicing today. And they're tough guys. Yeah, one thing we did today is we we didn't have as much full speed work today as we normally do because of the injuries, but uh, we increased the reps. We can increase the communication opportunities for Richie to get wired back in, and um, all indications are good. He looked good today. So how pleased have you been with Daniel Carson? All obviously he was uh, back this last year. Really pleased. I mean, he's an ice man. He's kicked. He's kicked the ball in clutch situations. He helped us beat Arizona at the buzzer. He's, his, his kickoffs have really improved. If you've seen that, he's had some touchbacks. Uh, great guy. Got a huge upside, big leg. But we, we really are proud to have him. AJ Cole, wondering about him last week with the foot, but he did kick. How, how is he now? I think he's better. You know, he got, uh, he got rolled up. We had a punt drill, and he accidentally got, he got rolled up, and he hurt his ankle. But... He made it through the game okay and uh, appears to be better. We won't punt until tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow exactly, but I thought he did okay in the game. Coach, you talked about the continuity on defense with Minnesota, but this is traditionally one of the top defenses he's had for the last couple of years. What is it about this year that makes this recovery? You know, you just watch the Atlanta game and you're just, wow, it's 28 to nothing at the end of the third quarter. You know, Green Bay got a couple scores early. They didn't make much happen at all in the second half. They, uh, they have veteran players and they have high profile players at every level. It starts with the pass rush. You know, they knock the run out with Linval Joseph and Kendricks, their middle linebacker, and then they get these pass rushers, a lot of at bats, 
and they can rip it, man. I mean, Everson Griffin is back. Whatever anybody has said about Griffin in the past or whatever he went through last year, I don't know, but he is playing really well. And Daniil Hunter's one of the best un unknown defensive ends in the league. I, I don't know why he doesn't get more credibility, but Rhodes can shut you down. Waynes is a first rounder, and Harrison Smith is multi pro bowler. They got a lot of good players, and Zimmer's had a scheme that they all understand. So they're, they're tough. They are tough. How similar is what Zimmer does to what Paul does? Yeah, I think it's similar. I just think they're so advanced because they've been together so long. You know, they know where all the snakes are in every coverage. They call cover three Jade or whatever they call it. They know where the problems are, and they're quick to make adjustments. And uh, every week they can give you something, a twist or two that you haven't seen, you can't prepare for. And don't forget the noise either. I mean, it is really loud in there. I can't wait to hear that horn, that Viking horn. Uh, I love that thing. All right. All right, guys. All right, guys. <laughs> well, they don't blow it up. <laughs> <laughs>